What's up everybody? Well today I'm here to bring you another full house cleaning to test vacuum cleaning performance. This time it's on my Hoover Elite 350. The custom built one. The one I put the higher performance motor into it. So for this configuration I am going to be testing it with the red bristle single row brush roll that is on loan from my original Elite 350. The the white and red one, not the blue one. So I'm gonna test to see how this works with the high performance seven amp motor. Because I've already did this test on my blue Elite 350 when I put the seven amp motor into it, but that one had the dual row brush roll that was the red bristle one i did another test with a 7 amp motor with the 20 blade retrofit fan so maybe later i'll have to do that test with this brush roll 7 amp with the 20 blade so but for now well, let's go ahead and do it in this configuration which this motor in this is the seven bladed fan so with that said let's go ahead and get to cleaning Per the usual test, I run fresh new HEPA Type A bags. And so, let's get started.
right, let's go ahead and take a look at the carpet lines. This leaves very beautiful lines. I've said this before in many of my other videos, but one thing I do like about these older, late 80s, early 90s styles of elites is that these actually use just a single bar base plate, which with more extra bristles and nothing obstructing the, the path of the brushes, it leaves much better carpet lines than it would with the three bars. Along with the high performance airflow from the high performance motor, I will say this. I was actually struggling to push and pull this thing because of the extra airflow this thing produces. But other than that, let's go ahead and continue on.
And just like that, full house cleaning is all done. And I will say the performance is amazing. So much to the point that this vacuum was pretty hard to push. So this configuration is not very comfortable to use for long periods of time. I honestly think, I think this works better with a dual row brush roll since the extra airflow and also the increased agitation from the dual row actually will compensate for some of that. It'll make it a little bit easier to push forward while still having high airflow. But now let's go ahead and see what this thing picked up. So as usual, I like to wait until about a week's worth before I do these tests. Just like that, we have pretty impressive amount of pickup. A lot of the material is just mostly fiber material from the downstairs rug, but it does manage to pick up quite a bit of pet hair along the way. So I'm led to believe, I think the extra airflow may have something of an influence on that because I've tried this with Another Elite 350 with the 5 amp motor, and it doesn't seem to pull as much pet hair compared to this. It could be just me, but you could watch my other cleaning performance videos where I've ran that same red bristle single row brush roll in two Elite 350s. My blue one, which had the 5 amp with the replacement 7 blade fan, and I also ran it in my original white and red Elite 350, which I use the Elite 50 Limited's motor that was a 5 amp, but had a 9 bladed fan. I do think these 7 amp motors do perform way better than the 5 amps, admittedly, but the 5 amps have a more pleasurable sound than these seven amps. So for the extra performance, you will have to put up with a little bit of noise out of a seven amp, but it's a well worthwhile upgrade if you have a motor that needs to be replaced and you can get your hands on a later seven amp. You'll gain much more cleaning power. But with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this full house cleaning with the custom Hoover Elite 350 with the high performance motor. Be sure and stay tuned, and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.